Main CDL Combination Vehicles Test Question 1. While checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be Slightly raised Fully lowered Fully raised Answer Slightly raised Question 2. After the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in what position? Down. Up. Normal. Answer. Normal. Question 3. When connecting the glad hands press the two seals with the coupler together at what degree to each other? 45 degree 90 degree 180 degrees Answer 90 degree Question 4 Airlines on a combination vehicle are often colored to keep them from getting mixed up. The emergency line is, the service line is Black, yellow Red, blue Blue, red Answer Red, blue Question 5. Semi-trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Are easier to brake because they are heavier. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 6. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should Always approach the trailer at a slight angle. Always use lowest reverse gear. Do it quickly to ensure that the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Answer Always use lowest reverse gear. Question 7. Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To ensure good electrical connections. To prevent steering problems. To reduce heat and noise. Answer. To prevent steering problems. Question 8. The tractor protection valve will close in the trailer. Emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Service. Emergency. Parking. Answer. Emergency. Question 9. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? The emergency trailer brakes will come on. The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Answer. Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 10. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track? It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track.
It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. Answer It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 11. When should you use chocks to park a trailer not equipped with spring brakes? Always. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Never. Answer. Only when it will be parked on an ink line. Question 12. Why should you use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes? Because some states require chalking of trailer wheels. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Because you don't want the trailer rolling down a hill. Answer Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Question 13. You supply air to the trailer tanks by Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Pulling out the trailer air supply valve Connecting the service line glad hand Answer Pushing in the trailer air supply valve. Question 14. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is? You should turn wide before you start the turn. You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 15. Off-tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the wider pass while making a turn? Triple towing a 45 feet trailer. Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. 53 feet bobtail. Answer Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Question 16 When you turn suddenly while pulling doubles, which trailer is most likely to turn over? Each trailer is equally likely to turn over as the tractor. The front trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Answer The rear trailer is twice as likely to turn over as the tractor. Question 17. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands, or dummy couplers, to each other when you are not towing a trailer? It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. If you did not, you could never build system pressure. The connected brake circuit becomes a backup air tank. Answer It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Question 18 Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. 
Answer. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 19, you are uncoupling a trailer. After you shut off the trailer air supply and lock the trailer brakes, you should Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Begin to lower trailer landing gear. Answer Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws. Question 20 Air and electrical lines from the tractor to the trailer should be resting on the frame of the tractor secured but with enough slack for turns pulled tight with very little slack answer secured but with enough slack for turns question 21 your emergency airline breaks or gets pulled apart while you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Trailer supply valve to open. Air compressor to unload instead of pumping air. Answer Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Question 22. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should expect. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Answer. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 23. When driving a set of doubles it is necessary to close which shut off valve in the last trailer? Middle section. Front. Back. Answer. Back. Question 24. The hand valve should be used. Only when the trailer is fully loaded. To test the trailer brakes. Only with the foot brake. Answer. Test the trailer brakes. Question 25. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and the tractor to lose all air pressure. The tractor protection valve to close. The trailer supply valve to stay open. Answer The tractor protection valve to close. Question 26. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends 4 feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red flags. Red flag. Red lights. Answer. Red lights. Question 27. How should you test the tractor semi-trailer connection for security? Put the tractor in gear and pull ahead with a sharp jerk. Pull gently forward in low gear against the locked trailer brakes, then look at it carefully. Rock the trailer back and forth with the trailer brakes locked. 
Answer. Pull gently forward in low gear against the lock trailer brakes, then look at it carefully. Question 28. If the service line comes apart while you are driving a combination vehicle but the emergency line stays together, what will happen right away? Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. The trailer's tank will exhaust through the open line. The emergency trailer brakes will come on. Answer Nothing is likely to happen until you try to apply the brakes. Question 29. The safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is... You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. You should turn wide as you complete the turn. You should turn wide before you start the turn. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 30. When you are uncoupling a loaded trailer lower the landing gear until it reaches the ground. Makes contact with the ground and leave the trailer off the fifth wheel. Makes firm contact with the ground. Answer. Makes firm contact with the ground. Question 31. Why should you use chocks when parking a trailer without spring brakes? Because you don't want the trailer rolling down a hill. Because some states require chalking of trailer wheels. Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Answer Because if the air pressure leaks away or down, there will be no brakes. Question 32. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The base. The shank. The head. Answer. The shank. Question 33. Glad hands are used to connect the Kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Answer Service and emergency airlines from the track to the trailer. Question 34 you should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is Blood down to half the maximum pressure At normal pressure Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch Answer At normal pressure Question 35. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. The parking lock is off and may drive away. The trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 36. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? About one fourth inch. Just enough to see light through it. None. 
Answer. None. Question 37. Off tracking or cheating causes which of these to follow the water pass while making a turn? Triple towing a 45 feet trailer. 53 feet bobtail. Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Answer. Tractor with two 27 feet trailers. Question 38. The iron trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure. The safety latch is in unlocked position. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheels. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. Answer. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. Question 39. You want to inspect the trailer supports. You should place the tractor transmission in which gear after you have uncoupled the trailer? High reverse. Low reverse. Neutral. Answer. Neutral. Question 40. After you supply air to the trailer, make sure the air lines are not crossed and the trailer brakes are working. This is done by Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Turning on the parking brakes from the cab. Lifting the brake pedal. Answer. Applying and releasing the trailer brakes and listening for brake sounds. Question 41. Your emergency airline brakes or gets pulled apart while you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Air compressor to unload instead of pumping air. Trailer supply valve to open. Answer. Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Question 42. In general, the higher your truck's center of gravity, the more stable it is when turning. Easier it is to turn around corners. Easier it is to turn over. Answer. Easier it is to turn over. Question 43. Glad hands are used to connect the Kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Service and emergency air lines from the truck to the trailer. Answer. Service and emergency air lines from the truck to the trailer. Question 44. You supply air to the trailer tanks by Pulling out the trailer air supply valve. Connecting the service line glad hand. Pushing in the trailer air supply valve. Answer. Pushing in the trailer air supply valve. Question 45. How long does it take a typical tractor trailer to clear a single track? A double track. It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. It takes 10 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 12 seconds to clear a double track. 
It takes 7 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 10 seconds to clear a double track. Answer It takes 14 seconds to clear a single track, and more than 15 seconds to clear a double track. Question 46. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Loaded to full capacity Empty Overloaded Answer Empty Question 47. When backing a tractor under a trailer you should expect End of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. Trailer landing gear is fully extended. Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Answer Trailer will be lifted slightly when the tractor backs under it. Question 48. The trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. Both of these statements are correct. The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. Answer. Both of these statements are correct. Question 49. Airlines on a combination vehicle are often colored to keep them from getting mixed up. The emergency line is, the service line is. Red, blue. Blue, red. Black, yellow. Answer Red, Blue Question 50. The tractor protection valve will close in the trailer. Emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Emergency Service Parking Answer Emergency Question 51. You have coupled with the semi-trailer. Where should you put the iron trailer supports before driving away? Three turns off the top with a crank handle secured in its bracket. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 52. When coupling, the proper position of the fifth wheel is Level with the ground tilted up toward the end of the tractor tilted down toward the end of tractor answer tilted down toward the end of tractor question 53 if you have coupled with the semi trailer where should the front trailer supports be before driving away Raised three-fourths way with the crank handle removed. Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Raised one halfway with the crank handle secured in its bracket. Answer Fully raised with the crown handle secured in its bracket. Question 54. What statement best explains crack the whip effect? Your trailer is half full and the cargo is loaded in the front of the trailer.
When you make a sudden steering wheel movement cargo will tend to forcefully slide to the back of the trailer, forcing the trailer to roll over. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the tractor tends to rock and sway. The velocity of the rearmost trailer forces the tractor to roll over before the trailer. Answer When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Question 55. When you get ready to back under the semi-trailer you should line up. About 12 degrees off the line of the trailer. The kingpin to engage the driver's side locking jaw first. Directly in front of the trailer. Answer Directly in front of the trailer. Question 56 If the brakes are not released when you push the trailer air supply valve, you should check electrical cable, check airline connection. Cross the airlines. Answer Check airline connection. Question 57 The tractor protection valve will close in the trailer. Emergency brakes will come on when there is a major leak in the brake line. Service Emergency Parking. Answer Emergency. Question 58 The trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. Both of these statements are correct. Answer Both of these statements are correct. Question 59 What is the emergency airline for? To have extra air pressure in case you need it. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. Answer To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 60 the fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that You can set the fifth wheel for weight balance. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. The parking lock is off and you may drive away. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. Question 61 Where should the tractor do when you inspect landing gear after uncoupling the trailer? Completely cleared from the trailer. With the tractor frame under the trailer. With the fifth wheel directly beneath the kingpin. Answer With a tractor frame under the trailer. Question 62 The iron trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on the tractor. Make sure 
there is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheels. The safety latch is in unlocked position. Answer There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gears. Question 63. What is the emergency airline for? To have extra air pressure in case you need it. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. Answer. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 64. A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is Overloaded Empty Loaded to full capacity Answer Empty Question 65. When coupling the proper position of the fifth wheel is Level with the ground Tilted down toward the end of tractor Tilted up toward the end of the tractor Answer Tilted down toward the end of tractor Question 66 how much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? None. About one fourth inch. Just enough to see light through it. Answer. None. Question 67. Semi-trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes are easier to brake because they are heavier. Often do not have spring brakes. Usually need a glad hand converter. Answer. Often do not have spring brakes. Question 68. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kinpin. This means that You can set the fifth wheel for weight balance. The parking lock is off and you may drive away. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. Question 69. You supply air to the trailer tanks by Connecting the service line glad hand Pushing in the trailer air supply valve Pulling out the trailer air supply valve Answer. Pushing in the trailer air supply valve. Question 70. You want to inspect the trailer supports. You should place the tractor transmission in which gear after you have uncoupled the trailer? Neutral. Low reverse. High reverse. Answer. Neutral. Question 71. After you have coupled the trailer you should have to raise the landing gear by using High gear. Intermediate. Low gear. Answer. Low gear.
Question 72. You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Trailer tank pressure to be lost. Tractor spring brakes to lock on. Answer. Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Question 73. What is the emergency airline for? To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. To have extra air pressure in case you need it. Answer. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 74. Describe what the trailer air supply control does. It is a yellow, six-sided knob used to control the tractor protection valve. It is a device used to keep the trailer behind the tractor. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Answer. It is used to supply the trailer with air, shut the air off, and put on the trailer emergency brakes. Question 75. When driving a set of doubles it is necessary to close which shut off valve in the last trailer? Middle section. Back. Front. Answer. Back. Question 76. What are the other names for the service airline? Curved line or signal line. Straight line or control line. Control line or signal line. Answer. Control line or signal line. Question 77. Which of these vehicles off tracks the most? Five axle tractor towing a 45 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Five axle tractor towing a 42 foot trailer. Answer. Five axle tractor towing a 52 foot trailer. Question 78. Air and electrical lines from the tractor to the trailer should be resting on the frame of the tractor. Secured, but with enough slack for turns. Pulled tight with very little slack. Answer. Secured, but with enough slack for turns. Question 79. Glad hands are used to connect the kingpin from the trailer to the locking jaws of the fifth wheel. Electric lines from the tractor to trailer. Service and emergency air lines from the truck to the trailer. Answer. Service and emergency air lines from the truck to the trailer. Question 80. What is a tractor jackknife? When you lock up the drive tires on the trailer and the trailer spins out sideways as the tractor continues to push forward. When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Neither of these answers are correct. Answer. 
When you lock up the drive tires on the tractor and the tractor spins out sideways as the trailer continues to push forward. Question 81, a tractor with an trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Empty. Fully loaded. Lightly loaded. Answer. Fully loaded. Question 82. Under good driving conditions, you should leave at least one second of space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead for every feet of your vehicle's length. 10. 30. 20. Answer. 10. Question 83. What is the emergency airline for? To have extra air pressure in case you need it. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. To engage the front brakes of the tractor in case of an emergency. Answer. To engage the trailer brakes in case of air pressure loss. Question 84. How much space should be between upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? None. Just enough to see light through it. About one fourth inch. Answer. None. Question 85. After connecting the air lines, but before backing under the trailer you should Make sure that the trailer brakes are off. Walk around the rig to make sure it is clear. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Answer. Supply air to the trailer system, then pull out the air supply knob. Question 86. Which type of truck trailer combination has the best chance of the crack the whip rollover? A tractor pulling three trailers. A single tractor trailer. A tractor pulling two trailers. Answer. A tractor pulling three trailers. Question 87. The trailer hand valve works the trailer brakes. Which of these statements is true? Both of these statements are correct. The foot brake sends air to all of the brakes on the vehicle, including that the trailers. The trailer hand valve should be used only to test the trailer brakes. Answer Both of these statements are correct. Question 88. Compared to a straight truck or bus there are things to inspect in combination vehicles. More Fewer the same number. Answer. More. Question 89. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when. The kingpin is about 1 and 1 fourth inches above the fifth wheel. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Answer It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Question 90 
When should you use the hand valve to park a combination vehicle? To park on a grade. Never. To park at loading docks. Answer. Never. Question 91. When a vehicle is carrying a load at night, which extends 4 feet or more beyond the rear of the body, there must be at the extreme end of the load. Red flags. Red flag. Red lights. Answer. Red lights. Question 92. Which part of the kingpin should the locking jaws close around? The shank. The base. The head. Answer. The shank. Question 93. You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the Trailer emergency brakes to come on Tractor spring brakes to lock on Trailer tank pressure to be lost Answer Trailer emergency brakes to come on Question 94. More than half of truck driver deaths and crashes are the result of rollovers. Trucks turn over easier when fully loaded and are Five times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Ten times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Two times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Answer. Ten times more likely to roll over in a crash than empty rigs. Question 95. What statement best explains crack the whip effect? When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the tractor tends to rock and sway. The velocity of the rearmost trailer forces the tractor to roll over before the trailer. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Your trailer is half full and the cargo is loaded in the front of the trailer. When you make a sudden steering wheel movement cargo will tend to forcefully slide to the back of the trailer, forcing the trailer to roll over. Answer When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Question 96. After you lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel, you should check the connection by pulling the tractor ahead sharply to release the trailer brakes. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Forward 50 feet, turning right and left. Answer. The tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Question 97. You are driving a combination vehicle when the trailer breaks away, pulling apart both airlines. You would expect the trailer brakes to come on and The tractor to lose all air pressure. The trailer supply valve to stay open. The tractor protection valve to close. Answer. The tractor protection valve to close.
Question 98. While checking if the rear trailer is securely coupled to the front trailer the landing gear should be Fully raised Fully lowered Slightly raised Answer Slightly raised Question 99 the air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes on, should not be more than Psi per minute. 6 2 4 Answer 4 Question 100 the safest way to make turn without entering another traffic lane is You should turn wide as you complete the turn. You should turn wide before you start the turn. You should not make a turn and move to another place where you can make a turn without crossing other lane. Answer You should turn wide as you complete the turn. Question 101. Which of these statements is true? Always delay braking a heavy vehicle until you have no other choice. Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Light vehicles need more braking power to stop than heavy ones. Answer. Bobtail tractors can take longer to stop than a combination vehicle loaded to the maximum gross weight. Question 102. A tractor with an trailer requires the shortest amount of stopping distance. Lightly loaded. Fully loaded. Empty. Answer Fully loaded Question 103 What statement best explains crack the whip effect? When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the tractor tends to rock and sway. The velocity of the rearmost trailer forces the tractor to roll over before the trailer. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Your trailer is half full and the cargo is loaded in the front of the trailer. When you make a sudden steering wheel movement cargo will tend to forcefully slide to the back of the trailer, forcing the trailer to roll over. Answer. When you make a quick lane change or sudden movement with your steering wheel the rear trailer tends to swing out. The force of the rear trailer becomes amplified causing it to roll over, rearward amplification. Question 104. You have pushed the trailer air supply valve. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is Empty. Between 60 and 80 pounds per square inch. At normal pressure. Answer. At normal pressure. Question 105. Semi trailers made before 1975 that are equipped with air brakes often do not have spring brakes usually need a glad hand converter are easier to break because they are heavier answer often do not have spring brakes question 106 
Almost half of all truck driver deaths are the result of Following too closely Rollovers Speed Answer Rollovers Question 107. To unlock the fifth wheel, pull the release handle to the position. Neutral. Closed. Open. Answer. Open. Question 108. The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that The trailer will not swivel on the fifth wheel. The parking lock is off and may drive away. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Answer the coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the coupled unit. Question 109. You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the Trailer tank pressure to be lost. Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Tractor spring brakes to lock on. Answer Trailer emergency brakes to come on. Question 110 A trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is loaded to full capacity, overloaded, empty. Answer Empty Question 111 The fifth wheel locking lever is not locked after the jaws close around the kingpin. This means that You can set the fifth wheel for weight balance. The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. The parking lock is off and you may drive away. Answer The coupling is not right and should be fixed before driving the vehicle. Question 112 Why should you be sure that the fifth wheel plate is greased as required? To ensure good electrical connections. To reduce heat and noise. To prevent steering problems. Answer To prevent steering problems. Question 113 The front trailer supports are up and the trailer is resting on a tractor. Make sure. The safety latch is in the unlocked position. There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. There is enough clearance between the upper and lower fifth wheel. Answer There is enough clearance between the tractor frame and the landing gear. Question 114. Your emergency airline breaks or gets pulled apart while you are driving. The loss of pressure will cause the Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Trailer supply valve to open. Air compressor to unload instead of pumping air. Answer Emergency trailer brakes to come on. Question 115. To unlock the fifth wheel, pull the release handle to the position. Closed. 
open neutral answer open question 116 a trailer is most likely to jackknife when it is loaded to full capacity empty overloaded answer empty question 117 when driving a set of doubles it is necessary to close which shut off valve in the last trailer middle section back front answer back thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon